<laughs> What's up everybody? So back there, that's my niece. Um, she went with me and trash can. I don't know if you guys can see him out there. He's out there on the phone being a diva. But right in front of me is this big old box full of games. I only paid 125 bucks. Like there's a bunch of games in here. But most notably, this guy right here, I saw in the picture. Adventure Island 3, complete in the box. And there's a bunch of Super Nintendo box games, more NES box games. This one you never really see, Mick Kids, that one's kind of going up. Um, I got Battleship, Baseball Stars, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Spider-Man, uh, Weapon Lord. There's, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Now, um, this guy posted on a Facebook group that I'm in and said, come now, you know. I, I was texting him, I was like, how much per game? He's like, three to four a game, depending on how many you buy. So, 125 bucks, there's some good stuff in here. Now, he had called one of his buddies, and he's a game hunter, I know him. He got some pretty good stuff. He got like, Marvel uh, War of the Gems, complete in box. He got Artie Lightfoot, complete in box. So, if he's giving them those prices, that's a freaking amazing deal, but. I'm happy with this stuff, you know, I got some good stuff, and from the picture I saw that Adventure Island 3 and I got it, so I'm happy, and luckily it was like right down the street from my house. So today is Friday, I also scored something pretty big at the swap meet, a Virtual Boy, a bunch of NES games, Mega Man 1, stuff like that, so yeah, I'm going to get home, get all of this together, and uh, I'll be doing some hunting tomorrow too, so hopefully the weekend continues like this, so yeah, see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. So, after that last clip, that was yesterday, Friday. Um, Saturday morning, I'm out garage sailing. I don't know if I can do much better than that yesterday, because that was insane. I added, like, basically all the boxed, all the boxes and manuals to my collection, and two new NES games, which is amazing. And now I'm waiting at a sale. It's supposed to start at 7.30. Hope is not a fake. It said Nintendo and Sony, so. But I met one of my buddies at another sale, and this was pretty cool. He walked up and he asked for video games, and then they said no, and he walked away. And that's when I saw him, and I, I was walking up there, and I heard the one of the the people at the sale say GameCube. So my ears rung a little bit, and I was like, oh, okay, so you guys have GameCube? Did, were you interested in selling it, maybe? And he's like, I don't know, man. That's my, that's my prized possession. I was like, well, how about this? How about... You bring out what you got and we'll check it out if you want to sell it we'll make an offer if not no harm done <clears throat> and he was like okay that's cool and he brings out a few gamecube games and some xbox games i got these three for two bucks each that tie three actually is kind of harder to find and then he my buddy got resident evil so pretty good pretty happy with it um so yeah it's it's something it was that was like the first sale i stopped at so hopefully this one pays off there's three people here so far, me and my buddy and then this other guy. I, I think I've seen the other guy look for games before, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this one pays off. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? Today's been pretty freaking slow. Uh -huh. That sale was ended up being fake. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's not because there's a lot of people that showed up to it and it was fake. Some guy knocked on the door and the guy came out and he's like, what? What are you talking about? So now I'm back in my town and I got this, a Nintendo nothing with it and then a ps2 slim and the cables for 10 bucks so not bad it's a little something but better than nothing and then i also got this ps2 game for three bucks ultimate alliance special edition so pretty cool and now i gotta turn around so i'll see you guys in the next sale what's up everybody so i'm back again long time no see um I have a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in front of me. So, obviously, I've been out for a few months now, um, going back and forth whether I wanted to keep doing this or not. And I don't know. The res responses I saw on the last video were kind of like, "Where'd you go?" You know, stuff like that. So, I'm gonna be back. You know, I, I don't know if it's gonna be like full force every week. I'm gonna try, but um. I have a lot of good stuff. I, I, I still hunt. I haven't stopped hunting. Just, you know, sort of stopped uh, the YouTube. Um, but I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I got, you know, you saw the clips before. Those were uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, Saturday wasn't so great, but Friday was amazing. Friday was insane. So um, I'm just going to go through and just show you what I got. So first I'm going to get these big 
box things out of my way. So first, um, I was able to snag one of the Sonic Manias for Nintendo Switch. So I, I pre-ordered that a while back and uh, got that one. So the only downside is the box is so huge, it's hard to find a place for it, but I didn't want to miss out on it. So um, that you know, I got that one from GameStop. Um, this came from a buddy of mine and then another buddy of mine picked it up for me and gave it to me for my birthday. Um, so my birthday was last month. Um, so I was only going to pay 20 bucks, but he just hooked it up. So I had the NES advantage in the box, so I wanted the super advantage. So pretty cool little ad. Um, that I got at a trade event and this as well, I got at a trade event. Um, they have an auction at the end of this trade event. And I was able to win this for 180 and I've been looking for this one for a while. So the Zelda edition Wii U. Pretty sweet. Um, Alright, let's see if I can get into some stuff. Friday. This was Friday. I went to the swap meet and uh, I didn't think there was going to be very much. But it ended up there was good stuff. One vendor. Um, I spent 320 I know that's a lot of money for what's here, but some vendors you gotta pay. Um, I already sold everything that was in here except one game that I kept, which was just a common game to another like reseller buddy of mine. Kind of like get me out of it, I guess. But I, you know, I still made a little bit of money on it, and then I used that money to find the the thing that I'm gonna show you right after. So this came from the swap meet. Got a zapper. Um, there was a Super Nintendo controller, an NES Advantage, and then this guy right here, we have Virtual Boy, and this actually works. Comes with everything you see here, it was only missing the visor. And then, let's take it out of here. We have, uh, there was three Super Nintendo games and the rest are NES games. Actually, yeah, there was no NES games in this one that I was going to keep. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, F1 Pole Position, which I did not have this game. So that one was the only one that I kept. And Chuck Rock. And then NES games, we got Commando, Kings of the Beach, Friday the 13th, Super Mario Bros., and Soccer. I'll just, I'm going to try to do these quick because I have so much stuff here to show you guys. We've got Double Dribble, Top Gun, Bigfoot, Blaster Master, uh, Track and Field, Ice Hockey, Dragon Spirit. It's kind of hot today. So I've been kind of messing with this stuff, debating on what stuff I should show because there's so much of it. Uh, Gold Gold 13, Karate Champ, Baseball Stars, TNC Surf Design, Dragon Warrior Trojan, another TNC Surf, uh, Baseball or Bases Loaded, and Pinbot. It's kind of a some junk, but we're getting into some better stuff here. Kung Fu, Super Mario 3, Tecmo Super Bowl, Kid Icarus. And then we have another Kid Icarus. Tag Team Wrestling. Dark Man, which is pretty I never see that one. I had it already, but I never see it in the wild. Uh, Double Dragon and Double Dragon 2. And then Ninja Gaiden, uh, Contra, Super Mario Bros. 2, and original Mega Man. So, nothing crazy, but I mean, I was able to sell it for more than what I paid, so that worked. Um, but it's cool because it opened the door to that vendor, and now he wants to sell to me, so that that works. Uh, this was offer up, and I forgot where I got this one, but this was offer up for 12 bucks. Snowboard Kids 2. And then uh, Pokemon Red. I don't remember where I got that one. Alright, so that was Friday morning. Um, then, let me just move some stuff around right here. I'm, I'm at my house, and I'm on my phone looking on Facebook, and, and an ad or a thread pops up, and it says, uh, need to get rid of, come right now, text me. So I saw the ad was like, pretty fresh so I hit the guy up and for I paid 125 bucks for what I'm gonna show you guys um, insane stuff just insane all right some of these I took the these games out because I was gonna keep some 
So let's see here. That one. Okay, so those are out. Alright, so I ended up paying $125 for what I'm going to show you guys. Let's see. So, we've got Sonic 3D Blast. Man, I'm sweating. A storm in here. It's hot in this room. Sonic 3D Blast. Um, the Lost World Jurassic Park. I don't know why. I didn't, I didn't really get... He said, you know, something about his wife or something he was getting rid of the games um but it, it was cool now there was another collector there that i know of um and he got some pretty decent stuff before me but it it wasn't it was just because he was called to come over there so it's all right you know i didn't i didn't really miss out on a whole bunch so but yeah 125 for all this stuff that was just the Sega stuff. I started going through this because a lot of these are in the box. Yeah. And then there was actually two games in here that I didn't have. All right, so now here's some NES games. We got WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge, Raid on Bungling Bay, and he said if you got the more you got is like three to four dollars. Puznik. So I got the, some of the most uncommon ones. Twin Eagle, Baseball Simulator 1000, Tombs and Treasure, which is, pretty, you know, decent. Racket Attack, Burger Time, Heavy Barrel with the manual. Another copy of uh, Techno Super Bowl. Got Double Dragon. Bart Simpsons, Bart vs. the World, Bases Loaded 3, Castlevania Dracula's Curse, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and then the last two loose games, Round Ball, which I needed, because I'm going for a full NES set, and Exodus. So, there's those. This one was the only one that was just box and styrofoam, Home Alone, but I have it. The rest of these are complete. Tecmo NBA Basketball, and one of these that I'll show you, um, I saw in the picture and I was glad it was still there. Uh, Jim Henson's Muppet Adventure, I'm keeping all these boxes and manuals. Uh, baseball Stars, Barbie, it's a weird one, but you don't typically see this one in the box. Uh, another decently priced one right here, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, another uncommon one. Battleship. Box is pretty decent. Uh, Mick Kids. Ghostbusters. And then the best one, this is the one I saw in the picture. Adventure Island 3. So, I mean, that, you know, makes the whole lot worth it. Uh, well, here's two loose uh, Super Nintendo X Men and Mortal Kombat 2. And then, C, or, well, this is the, I think this is the only CIB one. There might be a, another one, but most of these, I think there's two other ones. But most of them are just game and box. Uh, we got Weapon Lord. Ken Griffey Jr. Winning Run. Batman Forever. Weapon Lord was the only one that I had, uh, like, in the box. I had all the games. Krusty's Super Fun House. Spider-Man. Aladdin, it's a pretty decent one to get in the box. Another one that's kind of harder to find in the box, Pinocchio. Got all these manuals he just threw in, but nothing really is mad in NFL. Tecmo Super Bowl for the Super Nintendo. Troy Aikman Football, Ken Griffey, Lion King. Star Fox was the best one. And Mario Paint. And then, uh, The Wizard, the movie. I, I was gonna. I've always wanted to buy this, but just haven't bought it online. And he had it there, and I asked him if he wanted to sell it, and he said, "Yeah." So, done deal right there. All right. So that was my Friday. That was that last bundle was 125. Amazing deal. Now let's see. What did I find? I think this is all. Yeah, this is all I found. 
I found a Nintendo. I'm not going to show any consoles. Um, well, that Super Nintendo I'll probably show, but I found a Nintendo. This was Saturday. Nintendo PS2 Slim. Um, and then these games right here. So we've got uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Special Edition. That was three bucks. Um, these GameCube games were in a trade. I traded a Wii in the box of 10 games for a GameCube. I got the GameCube and all these games. Um, we got uh, Bionicle. That was the only game that didn't have a case. Spider-Man 2. Madden NFL 08. Madagascar. Nickelodeon Party Blast. Mario Party 7 and Mario Power Tennis. That was like later in, in the day too on Saturday. This was my first pickup. I, I went all the way out to this sale um, and it ended up being fake. And they, whoever made it tricked like a lot of people. There's a lot of people there, but it is what it is, it happens. But I did find these ones. Um, I got these for six bucks. Army Men, Sarge's War. Uh, Tack, Great Juju Challenge. And then I needed this one. Uh, tie 3, the Tasmanian Tiger. So see that was pretty much it for Saturday Saturday wasn't that great um, okay now now I'm just gonna sort of freestyle what I found this stuff came from the swap me I think I got it for like 10 bucks I got soul caliber and I just saw these the lady just sat them set them down on the table and I saw Dreamcast I saw the top I was like oh walked over and asked how much she had 10 bucks soul caliber uh, sword of the berserk Centipede, NCAA 2K2, and you can't hate on Dreamcast games, they're hard to find. Uh, NFL 2K1, this one was pretty cool, uh, this one was on the, this is the one I saw on the top, uh, Omicron, Evil Dead, uh, Hail to the King, Bust a Move 4, and Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Um, these ones were for some. These were from a yard sale last weekend. Let me see. I got this. I was gonna go to this one sale that had GameCube games, but she ended up selling the whole bundle to somebody else. I, I was talking to her first, but it happens. It's no big deal. Um, but I went to this other sale and it paid off. So I got a Super Nintendo, one controller, and these games from this guy. There were some NES games too, but there was nothing special. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Actraiser 2, and this legit copy of Super Bowling. He actually had this, and he knew the value on it, but he gave me a pretty decent price on it. And uh, he also had Bomberman Second Attack, but it wasn't real. And I don't know if he knew it. He kind of acted like he did. But then, you know, he just said, oh, somebody scammed me or whatnot. So it is what it is, but good thing I know what I'm doing and what I'm looking at. So I didn't get scammed as well. Um, and then all of this stuff came from one sale. Um, I walk up and this table is just full of games and all of these were sitting there and I got everything for 20 bucks. Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy Anthology, Final Fantasy 7, and this one is actually sealed, Final Fantasy Chronicles. So that's pretty cool. And then also, a bunch of these collector's editions. This is for Xbox. We've got uh, Gears of War. Freaking sweet. I'm going to keep all of these ones. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Gears of War 2. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for 360. And then this big bundle, hardened edition of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So for 20 bucks, I mean, you can't beat that. Um, this was, this also came from the swap meet, um, let's see, get together all the stuff that came from the swap meet. Oh, that's where that Pokemon Red came from, that's right.
All right, this came from the swap meet from the same vendor. We got a blue Toys R Us Game Boy Advance. That's pretty sweet. I haven't found one of those. And it has the back. They never have the back. Um, Wii Sports Resort, um, sealed. This is sealed, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then uh, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, and then Wii Sports. Um, there was also a uh, Pokemon Emerald, but I got rid of that one already. So we got Leaf Green and Sapphire. And that Pokemon Red. And then uh, Lady Sia. That all came from the same guy. And we got these guys right here from the swap meet. We got Duel Masters, Kirby Star Stacker, Mario 3, Mega Man, Super Mario Land 2, and Yoshi's Island. Got Dark Cloud 2 and Super Monkey Ball. I think I paid like two bucks each for those. Another Game Boy Color. Got that for a dollar. There's some other stuff in here that I'm not, it's not gonna, not a big deal. Golden Eye 007 and a, a watermelon, no, a berry Game Boy Color. Those were like five bucks each. Okay. This one right here, I had the game, but this was an online purchase from Instagram. I got it for 15 bucks. Amazing deal. Super Mario World Box and Manual. Probably a, one of the harder to find Super Nintendo Box and Manuals, so super stoked on that one. Okay, this next lot, this was from like a couple weeks ago. One of the guys that I buy um, games from he he had a Super Nintendo so he brings it out and I paid 170. Um, I this it, the, the Super Nintendo was actually a one chip. I already got rid of that and then there was also a Pikachu N64 which I already already got rid of. But these are the boxed games um, and they were all boxed and I paid 170 for everything. That's why I paid 170. So we got Pac-Man 2, Goof Troop, Frogger. Jungle Strike, Beavis and Butthead, which is pretty cool to get in the box, Pitfall, and these are all pretty much complete, Pool, a Super Game Boy, which is pretty amazing, copy of Weapon Lord, it's another copy, I think I have three copies total right now, Cybernator, that's a good one, and the best one in here, really hard to find, Lost Vikings 2, I already put it in a protective case, so... Pretty stoked on that. Um, let's see. Showed all that. Okay, this one. This one's actually pretty cool. I won all these. These are just boxes and inserts. Some of them had like you know paperwork and stuff. I won all these on eBay for forty bucks. I sniped the last bid and got it for forty bucks, and end up being that one of them was really valuable. So we got Operation Logic Bomb. I had the game for that one. Uh, Super Smash TV had the game for that one. Metal Combat, I actually got that one in a lot, and I, so I have the game and the manual for that one. This is the, the heavy right here, and you wouldn't think so, but this one's actually really hard to find. Relief Pitcher, now I did not have the game for this one, but one popped up on eBay for 20 bucks, and I, I sniped it real quick. Um, probably a really hard game to find, so... If you have this in your collection, look it up. It's pretty valuable. The Untouchables, that's one of the only ones that I did not have, so I, I need to get that one. Uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. Uh, the Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare. Copy of uh, Batman Forever right there, so that's I got two of those. And then Pro Quarterback was the only other one that I didn't have, so 40 bucks for those. And that relief pitcher kind of threw me for a loop. Um, okay, these ones were on Craigslist. These were sitting on Craigslist for a hundred bucks. And the guy put in his description, I know what they're worth, but I want to sell them for a hundred bucks. You make some money and I make some money. So uh, they were on there for like a day and I went out there and I, I got them. So the first up, Marquista's Ring. 
you're paying 100 bucks for just that one, well, the next one is where it's at. Gun Knack. I paid 100 bucks for these two. Insane deal. And I was, I've been wanting Gun Knack for a while. So that was a pretty good one. This one came from a trade event. I paid 15 Ninja Crusaders. This one was a GameStop online snipe. And now, they don't even sell this game. But for some reason, it popped up on my feed on like games you, you might be interested in. Bandit Kings of Ancient China. And I opened it up, authentic, it's mint, mint. Now, they don't have it listed, like they don't sell it. Like if you look it up right now, it's not on there, but they had the price of $99.99. So I only, I used trade credit and I used all their discounts. So I got it for like $80. Pretty good deal. Um, this stuff was from a trade uh, from my buddy Armando. So he got these games in and I was the first person to you know claim them. Uh, Tecmo Cup Soccer. It's a hard one to find. Uh, he hooked me up with this one. I traded him one game for this one. Comic Zone. It's just the box, um, but I needed the box. And then this, uh, the other heavier game, uh, Bomberman 2. So pretty sweet to add to the collection. Um, I got this guy a while back complete in box white ps2 slim and it is complete mint mint condition these are super hard to find especially in the box so i had to grab that um i got a bunch of box games here but i'll show you the most notable one this is complete uh the fantastic adventures of dizzy and then right here this is a game that I found in a bundle a while back. This is the only one I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, it's the most notable one. Robocop versus Terminator. This is the box manual and everything, and I had the game. That was the only one in the in the bundle he didn't have the game for, but I didn't care. I wanted I wanted the box and manual. Um, okay, last but certainly not least, this came from the swap meet. I paid 45 bucks. Now, when we were going through it, we thought he, you know, we didn't. It was just the games. So he sold me the games for 45 bucks. But when I got home, I opened up the back of it because I felt something, and there was a pink Game Boy Advance. So that was a win-win. So we got uh, Harvest Moon 3. I mean, 45 bucks for all this stuff, and that Harvest Moon 3 is, is pretty up there. Uh, Miss Pac-Man. Uno. Pokemon Silver. Pokemon Gold. This one that you probably wouldn't think would be valuable, but it actually is Boxel 2. Pretty hard one to find. And then one of the better Pokemon's Pokemon Crystal. Um, we got Shrek, Tetris Attack, Wordtris, uh, Yoshi Cookie. Looney Tunes, a lot of stuff here. Tetris, Tetris 2, uh, Word Zap, and I don't, it wasn't too many. There was a lot of stupid Game Boy, but you can see there's, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of Game Boy Advance games in here. Um, but some better ones, we got Pitfall, uh, Pinobi. Oh yeah, there wasn't really good advanced games. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku was probably the best one as far as like Game Boy Advance goes. But there was quite a bit of games in here. There was like 30 games. So 45 bucks for that. That was a good deal. Um, oh, and then this guy right here. I have this up here. I'll put it up here for a reason. This was another GameStop swipe. Now, this came up. And luckily, I was browsing GameStop. And right when it popped up, I threw it in my cart and paid for it. Luckily, I had a trade credit, but this ended up being like 50 bucks. And I was thinking the whole time because I had ordered I ordered Pocky and Rocky 2 in the Super Nintendo, and it came fake, super fake. Knew it right away, took it back. So this, I got this after that, and I was thinking, okay, this might be fake. But then I was looking on on eBay, and there wasn't a lot of reproductions of this game on there. So I was like, there's pretty high hope so I got it looked it up you know opened it up and and looked through everything and it's 100% legit so for 50 bucks probably one of the rarest Game Boy Advance games Ninja 5-0
cannot believe this came through at a GameStop and it was actually legit and clean too. So that right there, this goes up on the, the heavy shelf. Um, that is, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. There, that's a lot of stuff. I know this, how long this video is, 26. So enjoy that. You guys are going to have a long video to watch of just me talking about all these finds that I got, but I'm going to try to get back into it, get you, you know, good finds again. Um, I'll show you as much footage as I can. I just use my phone. Um, that stupid spy cam that I got didn't end up working. So I got to look into something else. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this one. So I'm glad to be back. Glad you guys can have me. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.